What's up YouTube, Triple C Memorabilia, back here with another video. I'm in a bit of a different location. Uh, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of what my man cave looks like. So if you've been following the channel very long, um, you may have heard, I may have said it in passing, that my wife and I just bought our first house uh, about three or four months ago. And I've been putting together uh, my man cave, getting some of my autographs hung up. I apologize for the thunder, it is raining here and that just kind of started being kind of loud out there. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and kind of show you what my setup is. Um, so walking down, this is just the door to it. The stairs down into the basement. I have got these hallway walls filled with different pictures, uh, all autographed. Um, I saw this is a great space to hang different pictures that I've gotten signed. Obviously these are not frames, these are uh, just regular top picture top loaders. Um, the way I've got them stuck onto the wall um, is just with these different command strips, the Velcro command strips. Um, I do that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I think they just look nicer with just the picture plastered up on the wall. I've always liked like wrapped pictures or just like flat front pictures. Um, that's one of the reasons. Another reason, they're super easy to replace. So if I don't want David Freeze hanging up here anymore, I literally take the top loader off the wall, slide it out, put a new one in, stick it back to the wall. So they're very convenient to change stuff out. Um, the last reason, uh, I don't want to have to buy frames for everything in here. So that's the big one, honestly. I'd, I'd rather not buy frames. These top loaders are way cheaper and a nice, efficient way to do this. So uh, I stair-stepped the 16 by 20 pictures and then just kind of filled in with 11 by 14s, 8 by 10s, different things like that. As you can see, I've got a very wide array of Cardinal players, ranging from, you know, guys like Scott Rowland to even Tyler O'Neill, a lot of older guys, some Hall of Famers, some future Hall of Famers, you know, just Cardinal legends, Cardinal favorites. These are all pictures that I've, uh, most of these I've gotten in person or through the mail. Or through various paid signings so yeah just some of my favorites that I've gotten signed over the years different stuff like that got all these tickets that mark Andrew Kisner's kind of career I'm a big Andrew Kisner fan so like his debut his first home run and his first hit different items like that and again more cardinal legends like vince coleman stan musual uh willie mcgee different guys like that so yeah so that's kind of the staircase shows lots of pictures in there uh, it's a great spot just to put a bunch of pictures up and get them out of binders so that's kind of why i did that um yeah so as you come down from the staircase i'm going to take you guys over to the left now um, it's an extension of my baseball stuff. So I have my basement divided into three places. I've got baseball, I've got football, and then I've got music stuff. So that's kind of how I've done this. Um, just wrapping on around the wall, just some, some of my favorite 8x10 photos that I've gotten signed over the years. Uh, I've got this uh, thick jacket case that has a Paul DeYoung signed jersey in it. I got this in person at a game a few years ago. Uh, it's got his game model bat, um, some different baseballs, bobbleheads, obviously his all-star stuff. Paul DeYoung is my main Cardinals PC, so that's why you will see a lot of Paul DeYoung items. I have a lot of his items. So that's kind of why I, I have all of those. And again, just a wraparound of some more Cardinal items here. I'm not a huge bobblehead collector, but I do have a couple. A lot of the ones I have are at my grandpa's house because he has some glass display cases he puts them in. But yeah, not a huge bobblehead guy. Um, for those of you who watch my videos, I do a lot of in-person autographing, get a lot of pictures signed. Um, I'm going to show you where I kind of keep those. I keep those in these art portfolio books. You can get these at any craft or art store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Find them on Amazon, on eBay. These are great because they hold just so many pictures in them. So after a long day of autographing, you get 10 pictures signed. Where am I going to put them? I'm going to go put them in these books right here. Just a great way to store them. 
Um, on this wall right here, I've got a baseball display case that my grandpa and I built a few years ago. I think it holds 50 or 60 balls on it. I think it's got 10 on each row. But yeah, these the display, the regular display cases fit in here perfectly. So got guys in here like Ozzy Smith, Stan Musial, legends like that. New guys, Paul Goldschmidt, uh, Nolan Arenado, different guys like that. So a very big ar array of Cardinal players here, kind of a history of the team. So that's kind of cool. Uh, right here I've got just a 8x10 that's signed by Mike Matheny. Partnered with a nice note that he wrote me in a TTM return, so that was kind of cool. I framed all those together. This is just a little card holder. Um, got some sleeved up cards in there. These are just some of my favorite that I've gotten IP or TTM over the years. So, some of my personal favorites. Um, over here along this to kind of to extend the baseball stuff, I've got some broadcasting stuff. I've, I collect the Cardinal broadcasters as well. Uh, you know, the staple in the radio booth for the last many years has been Mike Shannon and John Rooney. So that's autographs from both of them. Kind of the TV crew that I grew up watching. Dan McLaughlin, Al Roboski, Jim Hayes. Got all of those um, TTM. So that was cool. They wrote all their nicknames on there holding their Players Weekend jerseys. And the TV crew that I really grew up with was Dan McLaughlin and Al Roboski. So I have those uh, framed up together. And then I've got just this broadcaster's picture. Again, these are the big four that I really grew up listening to. Mike Shannon and John Rooney on the radio. Al Roboski, Dan McLaughlin on TV. So that's just some of my broadcaster items. On around the corner, I've got a TV setup where there's often a Cardinal game on. Uh, then just some different jerseys and pictures that I, that I feel like are some of the bigger ones in my collection. Vince Coleman, Jim Edmonds, Whitey Herzog jerseys. In my opinion, probably the biggest thing in the basement, the Albert Pujols through the mail picture that I got a few years ago. Still one of my favorite pieces. Probably, I will never top that, getting a TTM, so that's amazing. Uh, nice 16 by 20 here of Yachty after they won the, one of the World Series. And then a nice Chris Carpenter photo as well. And then on over here, just some different uh, Cardinal legends, Mark McGuire. Uh, Ted Simmons, Ozzy Smith, different guys like that. Then I've got this little uh, nook over here that I've got just some Cardinals legends, some the owners I've got, both DeWitts here on, a, on photos, and then on baseballs. Just some all-time greats cards. All of them are ho Hall of Famers or future Hall of Famers. A couple of Hall of Fame managers. And a nice uh, model of the old Bush Stadium. So then that's going to round out the Cardinals section. So that wraps from the basement all the way around. And then onto the left side of the wall. Um, I'll go ahead and show this while I'm here. I'm a big music fan. I'm a huge Elvis fan. So down here I've got a little Elvis section with some different McFarlands and a cool Cadillac cookie jar. So... That's where I've got, that's what I've got in that bottom one. So on around to the back of the wall, I've got all of my Chiefs items. So I, again, up here, I've just used the, the top loaders with the command strips. They stick right up here to the wall. I was able to line that whole section with different Chiefs photos. So that was a good space. Those eight by tens fit perfect up there on that little lip. So that was awesome. So I've got all of those. Again, those are just favorites. Guys like Tyree Kill, older guys like Ed Podolak, Peyton Hillis, uh, Tom Bahali, Dwayne Bowe. Just a big history of Chiefs up there. So old and new, a lot of my personal favorites. And then here I've just got some different pictures and frames. One of my favorite IP autographs I've gotten, the Travis Kelsey. Eric Berry, one of my personal favorites as a as a kid, always loved watching Eric Berry. Then over here, I've just got some different jerseys. Under the jerseys, I've got these uh, 
index cards that I've matted with 8x10s and then put them in 11 by 14 frames. So that works out great. Different childhood favorites on jerseys, Jamal Charles, Alex Smith, Derek Johnson. On over there, Christian Okoye. And then Tyron Matthew. So just different stuff like that. And then that's pretty much all the Chiefs items. I definitely have more Cardinals items than I do Chiefs. But, yeah, the, the jerseys on the wall look really cool as you kind of come down into the basement. So I'm really pleased with how those came out. What these cases are, these are the same thing over on the baseball wall as well. These are just the shadow box cases from Michaels. Um, they come in various sizes. I believe this one's a uh, 18 by 24. Um, I've got that and a piece of poster board in here that I've tacked the jersey onto and uh, put them up on the wall so they look really nice so yeah that's kind of how i hang my jerseys up um and then on wrapping around on this other side i've got all of my music stuff i play guitar and drums and a couple other various instruments so i've got all my guitars and stuff i do i'm a huge beatles fan so that's why that chair is wrapped in that i do collect music autographs as well um so over here i just got some of my favorites I have a very broad, but it's mostly older music, so guys like Steve Miller, country guys like Johnny Lee, on over here. I do have a drum set in the middle of the cave as well, so that's always fun to come play on. Um, just different items. Carl Perkins, one of my favorite, uh, one of the pioneers of rock and roll, in my opinion, so very cool there. Another Steve Miller band. Oh, I'm over here. Just a couple more index cards that I've gotten. Again, I just mat these index cards with a picture of the person. That's a couple more signed record sleeves. Those are cool. I have a lip over here again where I've hung up some different um, photos that I've gotten signed. And then the last little corner I'm going to take you to is just the record corner. So I've got my record player, all my different records down here and then just a couple of more pictures up on the wall of some different guys that i'm fans of and then wrapping around to that so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed this uh, i hope i've helped spark some ideas on how to display some items this is my dog this is where he sits all the time he loves to sit on top of the couch so yeah, um, if you've been needing ideas for jerseys, for ways to hang up pictures, uh, ways to arrange items, uh, I'm not saying this is the end all be all, but this is definitely how I do it. And uh, I love the way this turned out. I love to come down here and just chill and watch the Cardinal games and be surrounded by some of my favorite memorabilia that I've gotten. So uh, thank you guys again for watching the video. If you have any questions about anything, like where to purchase them, or any other questions on how I hung some of this stuff up, please feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to help you out. And thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.